Welcome to another episode of Splash Africa. The analytics suggest a lot of you are new, so please subscribe and press that like button for me. Thank you. I know it's a very YouTube thing to say, but it does encourage me to make more stuff for you. Today we're talking about Feinbos, one of the smallest biomes in the world, unique to the Cape region of Africa. Some of my favorite flowers can only be found in the Feinbos biome, including the King Protea. This is South Africa's national flower. The Greek god Proteus had the ability to change himself however he wanted, thus he could have one shape and then change into a completely different shape soon afterwards. The Protea flower received its name after the Greek god because it has the same ability. The Protea family is divided into five different subcategories, including 1,350 species. In December 2020, the Mail and Guardian ran an article titled Nearly Half of South Africa's Protea Species Are on the Brink of Extinction, and I'm inclined to believe them. The Feinbos biome is very small compared to other biomes around the world, and there are a couple of species seriously on the brink of extinction. The bottom line of the article was that there was an assessment done that revealed that 47% of the Feinbos species are endangered of extinction. The assessment revealed that the King Protea is still in good standing, but its cousins are in trouble. At this point, I have to mention that South African plants seem to be more in danger than species in Australia or even South America. However, new cycles seem to be more concerned with the Amazon and the Australian bushfires. The real decline of biodiversity, the real extinction is happening here in South Africa just outside of Cape Town. The Feinbos biome could be lost and it's the common heritage of mankind everywhere. It's much more than just pretty flowers for tourists to come visit. Who knows how many compounds are out there in the Feinbos biome that's never been researched that could have medical benefits. There's commercial value in biodiversity and we should look out for it. We're the only species on this planet that can protect or destroy another species intentionally. I can repeat that fact until I'm blue, but it will take government and business to come together to really make a meaningful impact on saving anything. I've heard arguments about planting trees for the sake of reducing CO2 emissions. I've heard arguments about planting trees to reduce temperatures of cities. But I've never heard of plants being considered in the context of rewilding an area. I've heard of animals being reintroduced, but not plants. And when it comes to conservation, it's always the big animals or the cute animals. Plants are extremely overlooked, and I don't really understand why. Typical garden plants are, like, either endangered in the wild or extinct in the wild. And people just have it in the backyards and don't think about it. The potential to rewild does exist, especially for plants that are in trouble most of the time. There's just no appetite for it. At the time of recording, some Saudi nationals have been caught stealing plants and they've been fined 2 million South African rands and they were asked to leave the country in 48 hours. This year alone, the Western Cape government has been able to recover 12,000 plants stolen from the wild. In March this year, it was announced that more than 1.5 million succulents have been poached out of the Karua over the last three years. The poaching of indigenous plants in South Africa is happening on a huge scale and syndicates are selling off the plants in markets in Asia, Europe and North America. Poaching in South Africa has gotten so bad that the army has gotten involved, joining game rangers in their patrols. For instance, a part of anti-rhino poaching efforts, the army has been in the Kruger National Park since 2010. While researching the proteas, I discovered something kind of interesting. The protea flowers are pollinated by Namakwa rock mouse. The only other mammals that I know that pollinate flowers are bats, so it's kind of interesting. 